Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Wednesday, September 15th, 2021. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Just a reminder, 8 o'clock tonight, we'll be having a live chat right on this channel. We'll be taking questions from premium members and discussing everything from the thunderstorms that are going to be approaching this evening to the tropical Atlantic to developments for this upcoming winter in terms of the weather pattern and what to expect. So uh, a lot to talk about for tonight. But for right now, we have muggy conditions throughout the entire northern Atlantic with temperatures generally ranging from the lower to mid 70s. We have some low clouds and some fog. We do some visibility below two miles in some locations. Just a muggy morning with a tropical air mass in place. And you could thank this wind pattern with the Bermuda High transporting a tropical air mass from the Bahamas right up the east coast. And that is why we're having muggy conditions. But look off to the west, you see winds are converging and then winds shifting to the west. That is a cold front with a much cooler air mass, or at least drier air mass on the way, setting up for a very interesting clash of air masses as we set up for this weekend on through next week. Not a washout, but certainly unsettled. I think that'll be the key word as we move through over the next couple of days. Now, here's our surface map, our warm front's off to the north here. We have our cold front off to the west. These are called prefrontal troughs. This down here is what's left of Nicholas that is now a post-tropical low pressure system. Don't worry, that will continue to head due east and will not have any impacts on our region whatsoever. But this cold front sure will, especially for late this evening on through early tomorrow morning with scattered showers and thunderstorms. We may even see a few isolated severe thunderstorms, especially around the Poconos and Catskills in northwestern New Jersey. I think as it approaches the coast, we're going to be losing some of that instability. So the thunderstorms will be weakening, but they still can provide a bit of a punch, especially with some heavier downpours and frequent lightning with all this tropical moisture in the atmosphere. Then this cold front's going to stall out. And that is when this weather pattern starts to get a little bit more interesting. So on the infrared satellite picture, down here is this festering tropical disturbance. Now, with this cold front stalling out, it's going to meander over the western Atlantic, but it will not directly impact the northern Atlantic. It could enhance some wave heights and some uh, tides and some rip tides. That's what I was thinking of. So if you're planning on heading to the beach for whatever reason and going to water, you might want to keep an eye on that. But I think that this is going to remain out over the western Atlantic and not impact us directly. Meanwhile, this cold front will be approaching, and then you see this area of clearness. This is high pressure. That's going to be sliding towards New England, setting up a weather pattern for much of this weekend into next week. So let's dive into this forecast for today. Cold front's approaching. Look for increasing cloud cover, isolated shower too, but I think it remains pretty quiet for much of today with temperatures ranging from the upper 70s to lower 80s over the interior and along the immediate coast mid 80s maybe even a few upper 80s if we get enough sunshine in the delaware river valley especially around the philadelphia metro key word here is that it will be muggy now tonight that cold front will be moving through with scattered showers and thunderstorms i think the best potential for severe thunderstorms would be over new england but I can't rely on a few isolated severe thunderstorms, especially over the Poconos, the Catskills, Hudson River Valley. And then as they approach the coast, I think they'll start to weaken. Temperatures by tomorrow morning will range from the lower to mid 60s over the interior, mid to upper 60s along the coast. Now tomorrow, the cold front stalls out and we'll get these little weak waves of low pressure, keeping the threat for scattered showers over the region. The winds are going to start to back to the east and we start to get more of an influence from the Atlantic Ocean. Look for high temperatures, generally in the mid-70s. For, tom for tomorrow night into Friday morning, that cold front boundary goes nowhere. And we get these waves of low pressure that's going to keep for variable cloud cover and scattered showers. Again, not a complete washout, but certainly the threat for showers will be elevated. So if you have any outdoor activities tomorrow or Friday, you might want to get a bit of a backup plan. Look for temperatures on Friday to range from the upper 60s to lower 70s for lows and mid to upper 70s for highs. For the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, the frontal boundary drops south. We get more of an onshore flow continuing with high pressure trying to build south 
from the St. Lawrence River Valley. So look for scattered to broken cloud cover with a threat for an isolated shower or two. Overall, it's not going to be too bad of a weekend, but those showers will be capable of a brief heavy downpour at times. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 60s over the interior, mid to upper 60s along the coast. High temperatures in the mid to upper 70s over the interior, upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast. Lower 80s are the best, most likely over the Delaware River Valley and around the Philadelphia Metro. On Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're going to get a clash here between this high pressure system basically meandering around northern New England and the Gulf of Maine, and a tropical air mass is going to try to push northward in what we call the mid-levels of the atmosphere. So that clash is going to lead to a mix of sun and clouds with a threat for a pesky isolated shower each day. Temperatures through the region for the period will range from the lower to mid 50s over the interior, upper 50s to mid 60s along the coast for lows. High temperatures will range from the mid to upper 70s over the interior and upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast. Not too bad for this time of year, really. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino, and as always, stay safe out there.